friends and good evening my dear esteemed guests and subscribers I am your crypto enthusiast Lightliger here and today we're gonna be diving into the world of DeFi again and we're gonna be exploring this dApp on Solana which is called Radium which is basically a DeFi application that allows you to do spot trading and also automated market trades so let's jump in without further ado so I'm gonna be launching the application here so this is the main page and there's a bit of a documentation on what is going on so there's yield farms there's pooling they also have their own launch pad and then there's obviously trading which we already talked about order book amm so that is something you don't see that often in well pretty much in any blockchain whatsoever so let's jump into the actual application you will be needing something to connect in to the dap obviously and previously i've you know recommended solid extension but something that has happened to me personally at least is that it sometimes like resets itself and asking me to reinsert the seed phrase again now i don't know if that is anecdotal to my computer's problems or what is the issue here but that has you know up upted me out to basically start using phantom because so long also i found this bit of a lacking uh, experience we're going to be using phantom to log in which uh, is a pretty clean a wallet has a very nice interface and also shows you nfts on your actual wallet so we're going to be logging in here first and voila we're inside i'm going to show you a very quick peek at the phantom extension at some point we're going to maybe do a video about all of these but what I like about it is the clean interface showing what we have here. And then on the tabs, we also see my NFTs with actual images instead of like some type of a line of code or anything. It takes a bit of time to load the actual images, but after that's done, uh, you're able to see. So these are from the um, Star Atlas game and uh, I'm pretty hyped about that. But now we're gonna be focusing on actually Radium. So. Um, what we have here is a trading interface and the trading interface is for uh, the automated market maker but for actual spot trades and spot trading means that you set a buy order I want to buy uh, this coin at this specific price and here you can see the buy orders and here are the sell orders and more popular more volume obviously comes in um, less volatility there will be for the price so if you perhaps choose something like of uh, uh, where do we actually see that yeah in the top you can choose the actual pairing so something paired with Solana for example may have less fluctuation with it because that's the main currency of the whole blockchain but um, this is a nice way to um, buy things when you buy um, something of a let's say kind of speculative meme coin or something like that you have the ability to okay i want to cash out at this token at this price and i'm going to sell this amount and this much i might want for it so that's a very very nice thing that you can do and you can deposit the money basically into the decks itself but it's not like custodial or anything um you can also um connect here i think you need to connect again so apparently the uh, that you have to do uh, connections on both of them so here we go and here I can see my token account and uh, the wallet balance and everything here but let's get back into the swapping so um, let's open up here I'm gonna be showing you very briefly how it's done it's nothing like super complex obviously I have some USD here ready um, let's say I want to buy something here which interests me um, maybe I want to buy sushi and there's a lot of you know ethereum bridge tokens there's many things you can choose um you can also obviously paste in the contract code and you can basically do that uh trade anything but for the sake of the argument i'm just going to be getting a bit of radium here i'm going to be putting the amount which i want to trade in let's say i want to buy i'll put a four dollars um four eighty eight zero seven seven so i have a bit more of a um easy and remember all the slippage if you're trading between pairs that have you know um, low volume you might need to increase your slippage which you can do from the gearbox and you can put a custom number usually percentage very fine with very liquid uh, types of pools 
now we have done the transaction and as you can see we got our array very fast this is solana that's just the reality of the chains very very fast on the liquidity you can add lps to the pool so if i want to provide the um, Ray and the USDC to supply and earn some money from that. I can do that very easily as well. Once again, going through the approval, putting these, whatever, this is $4 now into the pool. It's basically nothing, but I'm just there doing it. And now we have liquidity and this gets us an LP token. And then we can go into the pools. And here we can see, for example, um, the liquidity how much the year long fees, fees generated in 24 hours and all that type of stuff. So this is the period we got. And if we had like 5%, 10%, let's say, of the total liquidity between Ray and USDC, this would mean we would get $240 basically a day from the fees themselves. So that's kind of interesting. And that's, there's money to be made. Remember, there's obviously impermanent loss as well. Then there is obviously farming and this farming allows us to basically get tokens. So we now provided the Ray and the USDC and what I can do here, I can stake that LP that we just inserted in. So every time you get an LP, that is a form of a token, which represents your position, which you have position of your liquidity basically, or your, it is a, the equivalent token, which represents the liquidity, if that makes sense. I mean, I just, I mean, I've done so many videos about these and I kind of take them as self-granted, but obviously it's a bit more complex for new users. But basically now I have um, provided um, the stake for farming. And now here we already are at pending Ray reward. And that goes over time, 57% APR. So. I guess in a year and a half, I would get like half the radium that I just put in, which is meaningless, but that's how it's done. Sometimes obviously there's like types of airdrops and things like that done uh, to the people who have interacted with things. And sometimes the farms actually do get retired. So um, most people keep a lot of very keen eye on their holdings as I do usually, but in these tutorial types of videos, I don't do that. But make sure always to check in if the farms are active or not. And if they are unactive, you can unstake them and get them back. Um, uh, then there is um, Fusion, which seems to be uh, lagging a bit here. This is on my side. So these are Fusion pools, which are... Um, so I don't actually know what these are. I think these are between um, different chains or something like that. This must be it step usdc or maybe no i think no 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 so sorry so i think these are actually giving you rewards in different types of tokens so i believe you might be getting like two tokens or a token here so by providing step and usdc you will be getting step rewards and all of these pools give you different types of rewards and i think these are you can apply for these or something like that so that's also a very nice way to um get some money also, if you don't like to risk your ray, as I just did, I could have just staked it here and get an APR on that, which is 31% versus the 51% we got on uh, the actual pulse. Staking, obviously, um, less risky and, well, uh, has a lesser APR, obviously, because you're staking a single asset versus two assets and etc. There is uh, Accelerator, and this is basically used to join on the launch pads of new projects. And there has been a couple of these. And obviously, if Solana becomes more relevant project and the DeFi will kickstart itself again during the bull run, these types of launch pads are a good place to find new projects and can be very profitable. Um, then there's the migration. Um, which basically allows you to um, native SPL USDT has launched an SPL token ten standard. So the USD you launch on Solana as a result wrapped USDT liquidity in must be migrated. Okay. So this is just a migration tool from liquidity from one. This is most people won't be actually uh, looking into this. So that's kind of like a, um, a brief look into the Radium's ecosystem alongside with Serum. It's basically the biggest uh, DeFi player in the space. So if you're looking to trade your tokens 
and wanted to do some spot trading on a deck setting, um, the radium is pretty much way to go. Okay, and that's pretty much uh, is the whole rundown. Uh, in case you're interested in uh, watching more crypto stuff, make sure you subscribe. If you are a dApp creator or um, community ambassador, you can always send me some emails and maybe I will be interested in working with you on some type of a project. My, um, you know, I'm taking some open jobs right now because I'm not so busy. But you can write an email at lightliger at protomail.com if you want to send some donations or your tokens in Solana, you can do that as well from the QR code above. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys on the next video whenever it will be.